And there we go. We got floating platforms. Oh boy, that sounds like real fun. Yep, and I'm already going to level it up so it provides a wooden surface allowing the thief's grappling hook to work. Oh, well that's very convenient now, isn't it? So we got a no clip, pl pretty much a no clip platform and a platform you can grapple on. Very lovely. <laughs> what, what was that? We're just... Oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> it just sounded like you were absent. Okay, this is the new platform. It floats in midair and you can even stand on it. It's oh, wow. Now that... Fly around with Oh it. my god, that is pretty much the coolest thing. It's just a little bit hard to control. I try to abuse it a lot. The problem is also it's really hard to draw. Constantly draw squares instead of the of this platform. Oh, yeah, squares as opposed to triangles. Yep. Oh, there goes the telephone. <laughs> Should we quickly stop? Hmm? Should we quickly stop the recording? I guess, sure, why not? Okay. And we are back. Sorry for this <laughs> little inconvenience. Very. Fun, I'm sure. <laughs> oh well. There are always phones and there will in this stressful world, there's nothing we can do about it. You, nothing always, at all. you always have to be reachable for people. But we can try out our new toy here a little bit more. And it's really convenient that you can level it up for having the thief to grapple onto it. That is that may be my new favorite thing ever. A platform that you can make and grapple on and fly on. With you your magic powers. Okay, flying on is actually really uh, difficult because it's That's it easily starts to like uh, tate. Yeah, tilt or tate, tilt, whatever. So I, like I said, I try to abuse it a lot of times, but it, I always fail miserably. Oh well, I'm sure that if you really got uh, like a handle on it, you could really uh, get through a lot of hard parts. Ah. Uh -uh. That was nice. That was painful indeed. And of course, a lot of the sun bats show up again. Oh, goody. Everyone's favorite. Indeed. Well, it's always good if you have a spread, <laughs> if you can shoot three, three bows at, uh, three arrows at a time. Oh, Which... yeah, very, very, very helpful. Oh, well. Ow. Damn. Yeah, I had to quickly go back and revive my knight. Uh. Revive Pontius or sla slashy, slicey, shieldy guy. Oh. Sh shooting arrows at skeletons is really uh, giving me a Diablo vibe here. <laughs> so I can remember playing Diablo as the archer and just hearing yep. the crunch of an arrow hitting a skeleton. It just brings back nostalgic memories. No, the, o the only thing that that connects me with Diablo is uh, having five, having like 15 skeletons behind you because you summoned them. Oh. <laughs> yeah, well, when I played Diablo 2, I was a necromancer. I played it only through once. Uh, like, I don't know. It, get, it gets kind of stellar. I don't know how people play this game for I don't know how many hours. Then again, they, they get sort of attached to it, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, I have to say it was fun in the end. Hmm, I, I enjoyed what I played of it. Hello Brief there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Did you see that skeleton flying off? <laughs> that was beautiful. Gotta love skeletons just flying off into the stratosphere. Also, f splash damage through wood. Through wood. Okay, that was nice how we tumbled onto that platform and then fell back. <laughs> A lot of real good physics here. Well, let's tell me a physics engine which doesn't get wonky at one point. Yeah, that's pretty much the thing about physics engines now, isn't it? I mean, that's what, what makes it fun to play with, with them. Ragdolling things everywhere. Hey, I mean that's what the most fun fun about is like uh, about the Source Engine, like G um, Gary's mod. Oh yeah. 
Boy, I tell you, give me a ragdoll and uh, a huge ton of explosives. And you will have yourself a good time. I will be. <laughs> I will be busy for hours. <laughs> Anyways, I think we're soon done with this level. It's only like a little leap, and then we get. This is actually the third last level. Oh wow! Wow. Well. So we're actually pretty close to the end of the game. The next one will be a huge pain in the ass. That oh was dear. a really skillful jump. Luckily you're by that reviver fountain. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly why I did it. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. That's classy. That was classy indeed. And in no way lucky at all. I didn't even see that there. It's like, oh you're dead Ooh, you found a secret. End of the Guardian. Again, more energy. Yay. Beautiful. And we can make use, yeah, of the square. No, of course, of our no clip platform. Get onto the elevator. Whoop. Now, see, there's some usefulness. Yep. Okay. And I think that's the end. Just quick checking if there's any secret left, but I. I found actually everything. It's only two secrets per level. Yay. That's that then. Yep, that's it. So, we'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Trine. Thank you, Fresno, for guest commentating and. No problemo. We see you, uh, yeah, like I said, next time. I'm being redundant. Bye bye. Bye.